Three years ago, last Thursday, Ashley Wilson lost her 15 year old son, Kurt. He was killed in a head on collision in Coleman County. The other driver, Brad Meeks, was not charged for five months and his case took another two years to go to trial. There's a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of prayers. Um, it is a, it's a constant burden on you and it honestly, it had put me into a state of depression. The jury convicted Meeks in January and yesterday, three years and five days after the crime, he received his sentence. Judge Gregory Nicholas essentially threw the book at Meeks, giving him the maximum punishment for all three charges, criminally negligent homicide, assault and DUI. And since the judge stacked them consecutively, he must serve a dozen years behind bars. But I do feel like there is a weight lifted off of me. Um, I don't have the daily heartache of not knowing what's going to happen with Meeks. So now I know that he is getting his punishment that I believe he deserves for killing my son. Wilson says she forgives her son's killer and hopes to continue touching lives by providing clothes to the community through her nonprofit, Kurt's Closet. I plan just to pour my whole heart and every fiber of me into this place and just to make sure that Kurt's legacy of loving and giving to everybody continues. John Papke, WVTM 13.